it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am doing John Kander and Fred Ebb songs for mezzos. Um, as I have said in other videos, um, altos and contraltos and mezzos, they're kind of very close vocal types. They can cover both songs in different ways, different approaches. Um, I have videos on them go check them out. Um, but you just have to know how to cover them as long as they're comfortable for you and they're in the right um, range, they're in the right key. Sometimes you don't even have to change the key. You just have to know how to use your voice properly. But so when I say um, for mezzos, that doesn't mean, oh, altos can't sing this or vice versa. But let me give you my song choices. So from Flora and the Red Menace, this was John Kander and Fred Ebb's first collaboration. And it starred Liza Minnelli. This was her Broadway debut and she won a Tony. Um, and the first song is A Quiet Time. And it was all but quiet. It is a huge belt song. It's actually a nice mix. It kind of starts out, you know, fun and light, and then it builds to this big belt tone. Now, Liza is famously an alto. She's just like her mom, one of these big contralto um, belt voices, Judy Garland. Um, and so, but it, it doesn't mean that you know, a mezzo can't sing this song. Also from Flora and the Red Menace, I picked Sing Happy. And this song has a much brighter belt tone to it. It's got these very vibrant, bright notes. So it might be comfortable for somebody who's um, chest voice and belt notes tend to be on the higher side. But again, that's up to you and how your voice type sits. Um, now, maybe Candor and Ebb thought of Liza Minnelli as their lucky charm because they collaborated with her on many, many a show. Liza was almost synonymous with Candor and Ebb shows. So, Another project they did with her was the movie New York, New York. Um, it starred her and Robert De Niro, and that's where the famous song New York, New York comes out of. And I was always shocked that, you know, New York, New York became paired with like Frank Sinatra because it was really her song first out of this movie. But another great song that came out of that movie was But the World Goes Round. And it's a very jazzy and emotional song. Kind of reminds me of like a Maybe This Time from Cabaret. Yet another famous show that Liza's known for. Or movie, I should say. Um, Also from... New York, New York. Now, this was not in the movie. Recently, New York, New York, the movie was adapted for a Broadway musical. In the Broadway musical, they did a song called One of the Smart Ones, and Francine, um, Liza's character, well, I should say that's the character she played, um, sings this song, and it's very upbeat and just fun. Now, this was Ebb's last show. He passed away, and so... To adapt it for Broadway, they brought Lin-Manuel in to um, finish some lyrics, um, change some things, add some songs. And so I think this was one of the songs, I, I, I could be wrong, but I think this is one of like Lin-Manuel's songs that he probably worked on, added, adjusted, fixed, what have you. But one of the smart ones. All right, moving on to Funny Lady. Funny Lady is the sequel to Funny Girl. And uh, this was never adapted for a Broadway musical. It's, it just was a movie. But how lucky can you get? And um, it was nominated for Best Song that year. And so I think it's just to show off <laughs> Barbara's big belt. I mean, that's just her voice. You know, it starts off really bouncy and light, and then it bigs. It it builds to a big belt uh, song, but we all love Barbara's voice. I can fault Barbara with nothing. 
Um, and then also from Funny Lady is this big, beautiful, torchy love ballad, um, If I Love Again. And uh, it's just, it's just emotional and beautiful and it's just Barbara at her best. Um, all right, now from the show Curtains, not one of my favorite Candor and Ebb shows, but I do love this song called That Away um, that the character Georgia does. And it's just this huge, fun, splashy dance number. And you would almost have to take this to a vocal coach to get the right edit on it to make it right for an audition piece, but it's just such a great song. It's just like flirty and fun and you could show off a lot of character to uh, your voice and just have fun with it and sell it, which is why I love it. It's a very much in the vein of like a Don't Tell Mama from Cabaret, which is in the show, not the movie. So I had to tack that on the end. Anyway, there you go. There are my choices, some of my choices from Candor and Ebb shows that I think would make great audition songs. I hope you like that. Don't forget to click and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next.